guys, Jeff off the Gridiron. Well, I'm super stoked. I uh, just finished my my restoration of my uh, old Voyager uh, 12 foot pack canoe from uh, Millbrook, Ontario. It's a uh, it's a vintage canoe that was left abandoned, and I want to take you through uh, a couple of the upgrades that I did, a couple of modifications that brought this old uh, canoe uh, back to life. Check it out. Here it is. It's an old Voyager canoe made in Millbrook, Ontario. It's about 11, about 11 and a half feet, we'll call it 12 feet. Put some new cord on the front. This is all a quick look at a canoe that I've refurbished. When I got this canoe, it had no gunnels. It was a raw, uh, I guess it's a fiberglass edge. There was no deck on the front or rear, uh, no hardware through throughout, and the two uh, thwarts were all uh, in pretty rough shape so um, <clears throat> even the yoke I put a new yoke and uh, I'll explain that in a minute this is the cross section of the plastic gunnel that I bought this would go down the left side the square blocky material the uh, square blocky edge would go on the inside of the canoe leaving the uh, little rounded edge on the outside uh, very smooth very strong and uh, worked out well this gunnel material came in two lengths uh, this was a 14 foot length and it was easy to cut with the uh, a uh, little hacksaw so it was cut the length and uh, snapped on. I just want to make a shout out to Paluski Boats and Ad Adventure Outfitters in uh, Lakefield Ontario. They were super helpful. I was trying to design how to uh, make some new gunnels out of ash and uh, they had these in stock and they are actually 14 foot and you just cut them to fit. Uh, the decks didn't fit quite as uh, as nicely as uh, obviously there's an overhang there um, but uh, they don't they're not meant to fit this particular canoe and they're meant to fit uh, a number of other uh, canoe styles but I made the most of it and my friend actually thought it had uh, a bit of a re resemblance to the uh, the goose on the front which is uh, kind of funny through the middle I added a new yoke and that's an actual old, old lower pole off a uh, umbrella patio umbrella I, this is a padded high density foam pad and that just kind of press fits under the uh, under the gunnels so that's a nice nice for kneeling kneeling on and again foam just as a little tail rest but here's the uh, another a little larger diameter uh, pole that came off an umbrella and I have a a chair that fits on here and uh, we can have a look at that after. So I just want to take a minute to uh, show you what I've done and uh, it cleaned up pretty nice. There were a couple of small pieces in the bottom that needed to be patched with some uh, smaller holes but uh, and uh, it could use a coat of paint but I didn't bother right now so but uh, that yoke went on there super nicely just bolted it on either side up through the gunnels and uh, added this back piece right here uh, more or less just a bit of a rest uh, against but uh, the distance between those two uh, I guess thwarts allows for my seat to be attached to that this particular brand of seat is called uh, Chinook but it's very uh, very well built it has two uh, two straps around you can either put them around an existing seat or in this case these two uh, two thwarts and you just have a buckle on the bottom side make sure they're all straight either side you can tighten it down and uh, give you some added added rest uh, added support or uh, or certainly recline it back loosen these off and recline it right back those are super handy and uh, they're lightweight and it can uh, double as a great campfire chair as well lift any particular canoe I always like to raise it raise it up on my uh, my thighs reach across the far side and with one movement roll it right up on my shoulders so 
sometimes if you can't reach that far, you can <clears throat> sit back and lay it on your thighs, and then that allows that, that reach to happen a little easier. I'm going to leave my seat on there, and that's going to counterbalance the back. Right up like so, and once you're comfortable, you can put your arms forward if you like, and this allows uh, actually a perfect reach for this uh, kind of forward rest rest bar, this forward thwart, and I can carry it quite easily. I can also put in a paddle, fishing rod, and my pack in the back, and that will uh, transport quite easily. I did a test for weight, and fully loaded as it is, it's 50 pounds, right on. and just about 12 feet but compared to my 16 foot fiberglass this is uh, <laughs> uh, next to nothing this is great so I thought what a <clears throat> great spot to put on one of my uh, off the grid iron logos brand my new pack canoe wow this is Light in the wind too is not, not necessarily my friend. These wings represent uh, actually let's put this on first the hook. These hook and wings represent um, both waterfowl and uh, fishing. when it hasn't flown around. foot Voyager canoe made in Millbrook Ontario vintage 70s at least has now been branded with off the grid iron logo awesome Thanks for watching. This is a little bit of a canoe restoration. I took this old, old uh, hull of a, uh, of a canoe and, and uh, it was just fiberglass, raw fiberglass and edges, and it was in pretty rough shape. But we brought it back to life. Can't wait to get on the water and, uh, and try a little solo adventure in the very near future. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, Jeff off the Gridiron. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your outdoors.